Hi, it's Jamie again, Overnight Document Shredder here at Rational Acoustics. We've just configured our measurement with three, uh, three spectrum measurements. You can see we just went through our measurement configuration. So I've got those three measurement engines. Now let's talk about running them. On my control interface and my on my UI here, I've got three measurement engines showing up here. You, we see a color assigned to the engine and a hide show button that will tell us whether or not we're going to show its data on the screen or hide it. Um, if there's no data, if you have not run the measurement yet, that will just be completely clear. There won't be an X through it. Um, and then we have the run and pause button. Now I can run, here I'm running and we can see the spectrum from my USB pre left input which is my measurement microphone behind my shoulder here. Um, and I can also turn on my USB pre right which is getting the the console out and I can even turn on my comp mic. And so we can see now my comp mic is in front, my USB pre is now in front, now my microphone um, is my USB pre left. So you notice that we've got three measurements going on all at the same time here. One of the skills you need to work with it, with SMART is when you're running multiple measurements at the same time, the ability to uh, determine which measurement is in front and you can see which measurement happens to be in the front or the top of the Z register by looking in the upper right hand of the window and it will show you the name of the measurements up front. I can also click on an individual measurement to pull it to the front um, just, by, just by pointing at it or I can click on the name of the measurement to bring it to the front. I also have over here the general controls for spectrum measurements. We've got scale, so I can change the scale anything from 48th octave, which is the highest fractional octave um, resolution that we have, all the way down to third octave and even octave uh, banding. Um, I'm going to leave this at twelfth octave where we started off in default. Um, we can also control the amount of average we're going to do. So we can look at either the instantaneous measurement. Right now it's set to none, which means that we run 24 measurements a second, so you can see it update relatively fast. We could want to look at more long-term uh, signal in our measurements, so we could use a uh, higher degree of averaging, maybe fast or slow averaging. We'll talk about more about averaging in later videos. So I'm going to leave this at no averaging. Um, and we can see that we've got our three measurement engines running here. Now I can turn off or pause my comp mic. I can turn off or pause my, my USB pre-write, which is the console out. And now I'm looking at just a single uh, measurement here in the front.